Hello, welcome to this short film about the new Lavazza LB2317. Today I'm going to guide you through how to set up the machine, how to prepare recipes, as well as how to clean and look after it. So let's get started. Now I've already plugged in and powered on the machine at the back, it's nice and straightforward. And the first thing that it will do is do a system boot sign here and then it will come up with a red warning sign asking you to fill the water tank. Lift off the lid and pull it out using the nice convenient handle and fill it up. Now I've obviously already done this and I've also added a water filter to really prolong the life of the machine. Now these are readily available um, all, all over the place, just make sure obviously they are suitable for coffee machines. So now that's done, it's asking me to press any button, so I'm going to press the select button here. Uh, before I do that, I do know that when this machine powers on, it's going to run a powering on rinse. So what we need to do is get a small cup under here, just to catch the water that comes out. So it's usual to see a heating up sign happening here with the lights flashing. Don't worry, it doesn't take too long. It'll be ready any moment. There we go. Now we're ready to make some drinks. Okay, so let's look at how we start making some drinks. If we look at the menu on the left-hand side, you can see we have the options to make single and double espresso, as well as a cafe crema, where about five ounces of water is poured through the espresso capsule, similar to an Americano. And we also have a hot water button here. Now, if you want to make a traditional Americano, then drop hot water into the cup first, and then drop your espresso on top of that. So let's look at how we actually do that. We're going to start off by making a simple espresso. So place your espresso cup under the coffee spout. Slide the drawer back, take a single espresso capsule and insert it into the top and slide it forward. Once we've done that, we then simply press the espresso button. And there we have our espresso. Okay, so we're going to move on to recipes on the right hand side over here and as you can see these are our milk based recipes, macchiato, cappuccino and cafe latte. Now obviously if we're going to use these recipes we need to make sure we have milk in our fridge. So inside here we see we have a clear plastic container that we can put our milk in. Just make sure that the milk tube is inserted into the milk and at the other end make sure it's inserted here into the cappuccino torre. Don't worry we're going to go into that in a lot more detail in just a moment. With all that set up, we're now ready to make cappuccinos. So let's place our small Italian cappuccino cup under here. We're going to open up the slider at the back, insert our coffee capsule, pull forward and press cappuccino. And there we have our cappuccino. Okay, so in this final section, we're gonna show you how to clean and maintain your machine on a regular basis. Now, the first thing we need to do is to empty the capsules and rinse the drip tray. So this simply slides out, the capsule section comes out, that can be emptied, the drip tray emptied, clean, rinsed, and then reassembled and slid back into place, nice and straightforward. So to rinse the brewing unit and the uh, cappuccino torre, we have the menu buttons here. So press select, and then you have clean brewing unit. We need to get a small cup just to place underneath, press select, and it'll do a rinse. Now we've done the rinse, we're gonna do a light clean of the cappuccino torre. So again, back into the menu system, down to Cappuccino Torre, and then light clean. What this will do is it will purge the Cappuccino Torre unit with hot water, giving it a light rinse. 
Obviously it's asking us to place a container under the spouts and just press OK to confirm. Okay, so at the end of the day, what is going to be important, or at the end of service certainly, because this is a fresh milk machine, it's really important that we keep the milk tubes and the milk container completely clean and sterile on a regular basis for hygiene, health and safety reasons. So to do a full clean, I'm not going to guide you through it all now, but just to show you the basics, you'll need to empty the milk from the container, give that a wash and a rinse out, and then you'll need to get some milk cleaning solution. Now this is readily available on the market. Just follow the manufacturer's instructions in terms of how much solution or powder to how much water. That cleaning solution goes inside here with the tube inside that. We then go back into the menu function. We go to clean cappuccino torre, but this time we go to a complete clean. Now once you press select, the uh, machine will guide you through all the steps that you need, including when to place containers under here, when to rinse the unit, and the rest of it. Really is simple and straightforward. Just follow the instructions. Okay, so finally, to complete the cleaning cycle of the cappuccino torre, we just need to get into some small pieces in here and give them a bit of a clean too, but nothing too difficult. Pop off the front cover, unplug the milk tube, slide out the unit, just pops out like that. If you turn it over, we then remove this rubber section here, this top part here levers off and comes away. And then again, finally, it's just this small white section here that pulls out. All of these sections need to be rinsed and washed and just all the milk components cleaned off to make sure there isn't any residue left on before we reassemble in the reverse order. Pop that back in. This lever section just clips on. The rubber housing here sits on there. It's nice and obvious. And then that is turned back in and clip back on. Finally, reattach the milk tube and of course, the front cover. There we go. Now at some point you may be required to do a descaling cycle on this machine, particularly if you're in a hard water area and especially if you're not using water filters in the back, which of course we would always recommend. If you do need to do this, simply enter the menu system, scroll down to service menu. If it asks for a password, it's normally factory set at 1234. and then scroll down to a descaling cycle. Once you enter this, it will guide you through all the steps needed, removing filters, adding containers, and all the rest of it. It really is a simple, straightforward, step-by-step -step guide. So follow those instructions, and you're as good as done.